Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to look at how can we use measures of spread or measures of variation to compare two sets of data and make judgments about them. So here's our setup. Two brands of paint claim to last at least 40 months before beginning to show any need for updating. 10 customers from each brand reported how long their paint lasted. Can we use this data to determine which paint might be the better buy? So we have in months 10 sets of data or 10 data points for about brand A and 10 data points about brand B. Now the first question you might think of is, well, what's the average number of months that each one lasted? And it turns out that actually both have about the same average lifespan. So brand A had a mean of 41.5 months and brand B had a mean of 41.6 months. So overall, not super different. So the next question is, well, how could we tell them apart? Well, maybe a picture of the data could help. So what we might want to do is look at a histogram of each. So by creating a histogram, I can see that brand A tends to seem to be kind of clumped together. All the data points seem to fall more close together. Brand B, on the other hand, has data points that kind of fall more spread out. We can see a numerical measure of that phenomenon by checking out the standard deviation. So if I look at a one variable statistics readout for each one, I can see that my sample standard deviation for brand A is 3.13 months. So that means that brand A has an average lifespan of about 41 and a half months and give or take three months either way. So that seems like a pretty consistent brand. When we compare that with brand B, which has a standard deviation of just over 11 months, that's much more spread out. So you have to think about, okay, brand B, that also has an average lifespan of about 41 and a half months, give or take 11 months. So you might be thinking, well, give 11 months would be really nice. If I could get an extra 11 months out of the paint, hey, maybe I want that one. The problem though is with, you, with a higher measure of spread, you could be the one that has take 11 months. You don't even get close to that 41 month window. So in general, if I'm looking to paint my house, I would probably go with brand A because not only does it have a mean life that is above the claim by the company, but it seems to be the more consistent brand. So that's how we can use measures of spread or measures of variation to compare two data sets that have similar measures of center. All right, guys, that's it for this video. We'll catch you in the next one.